Ashok Sirsat. I am a neurologist practicing at Lilavati Hospital, Bandra. Today we are going to have a chat. We are going to have a chat on how depression relates to epilepsy. What are the intercurrent methods that depression relates epilepsy and epilepsy relates depression? Why are we doing this? We are doing this because the presence of depression will reduce the quality of life for patients with epilepsy. Now the problem is we need to look for depression. People complain of headache, people complain of fever, but nobody comes and tells you I am depressed. They come with minor subtle signs that one has to ask for, only then one can understand the presence or absence of depression. Unfortunately, when depression coexists with epilepsy, time and again it is found that this is a problem which is not addressed adequately by the doctors, by the physicians and the families. So a proactive approach to this problem is a must. What is this concept of depression? Please remember, as many as one third of individuals with uncontrolled epilepsy suffer from depression. This is more common if the epilepsy comes from the temporal lobe. Very interestingly, you may be aware that sometimes successful surgery can cure epilepsy. But you will be surprised to know that even after successful surgery, where epilepsy is cured, the depression can remain and it can be even worse for the patient. Now, why does this happen? And this is something fascinating. Sometimes depression before the surgery is not recognized and therefore it becomes more manifest after surgery. And even worse, if there is a cure to the patient or someone has been epilepsy for many years, suddenly the family support goes down. People, he's no more pampered as an ill epilepsy patient. And they're not able to face the situation where they to face the world on their own. And therefore you can have a secondary depression in this situation. Now, how would you, how does it manifest? What are the questions you need to ask for depression? How do you probe for depression? One is the patient should ask them that they always report that everything that I do in this world is some sort of a struggle. Nothing that I can do, whatever I do is not correct. I feel guilty at all times. Oh, I'll be better off dead. And that is the something that should ring alarm bells in the family and the, and the doctor. Frustration at any decision that they make. And then difficulty in finding pleasure in day-to-day -day activities. And when these features had to be probed individually, and you have to find out whether they're always there, sometimes there, rarely there, or never there. Unless you look for it, you cannot go ahead. I would like to introduce a concept of what are known as psychogenic seizures. Seizures manifest not from a brain disease, but a mind disease. And they go very hand in hand with depression. Sometimes these seizures can be independent, or sometimes they can be associated with depression, with epilepsy. So you have individuals with two seizures and pseudo seizures in the same individual. Once you diagnose depression, please remember, unless you treat it properly and totally, the patient will always have trouble in the day-to-day -day function. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.